XP. Without it, we'd be all just level 1 trainers who couldn't even catch a Pikachu. Aww. But with it, we can fly to new heights and flex on our friends. Wow, dude, you're only level 30? Shut up, Jimmy, you purified your Mewtwo! Today I'll be using the best XP grinding method in Pokemon Go that nets over 2 million XP an hour. And I'm sure you're wondering how it works. So right now we have 258 million XP. I get asked all the time, how do you get more XP? What's the secret strategy? And it's very simple. You're just gonna lift your pinky and then... Oh my god, my XP just jumped by 2 million. That's insane, that's so easy. Okay, okay, I'm just playing around. It's not that easy to XP, but it is pretty easy. And it all starts with this. You see, I just got 7,000 XP for hitting one excellent throw during Slowpoke Community Day. Because we have three times catch XP, which means every single one of these bonuses is multiplied by three. On top of that, we can do two things to get even more XP. First of all, use a Lucky Egg, which I actually already have two hours of Lucky Egg left, as well as Mega Evolve a level three Psychic Mega, which we have Mega Slowbro here, which will give us an enhanced catch XP bonus, which pretty much just means a little bit of extra XP every time we catch a Psychic type. So we're gonna go ahead and throw on the Body Cam, which we haven't used in a while. We have about an hour and 50 minutes left of calm day we're gonna go ahead and strap up and see how much xp we can get with these last two hours looks good let's go get some xp okay here we go with the body cam voiceover since you guys loved it so much the first time we're starting off our grind here under rito mall and we took a hard right onto the bridge of no spawns Okay, I'm just kidding. There was some spawns, but now we're at City Hall, which was popping with slow pokes. The amount of excellence we were hitting this day was insane. I could just feel the XP flying up. After City Hall, we headed for Spark Street, but I decided last minute to do a hard right into this park for a couple extra spawns. Had a couple people off, hopefully they didn't mind. Then we got caught at a light. Now kids, don't do this at home. until we finally made it down to Spark Street. When we got on Sparks, this happened. I am, how's it going? Yeah, I was able to meet this super nice and supportive family. I signed their Slowpoke Pokemon card. We took some photos and even added them to my friends list since they were locals to Ottawa. Amazing experience, but it was time to get back to the grind. Okay, good luck guys, see ya. <laughs> Hold up. Gotta make sure you add them correctly, right? No problem, man. I'll see you around, okay? Yeah. See ya. Okay, back to the grind. Spark Street was great as I had lured it up earlier. At the end of Sparks, I took a right and headed back up to check out the Parliament. It was getting decently cold, so the nose was getting pretty runny. Dramatic much. Gone to the view of Chateau Laurier, which remember, we're still trying to buy, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so one day we can buy this hotel. Finally we went left, down the stairs towards Major Hill Park. This is one thing you'll learn about Ottawa. Notice when we get into this park, it starts snowing. You'll really want to remember that for later. Nonetheless, we were finally out of Major Hill Park and walking, everything was going great until something bad happened. Niantic warns you to be aware of your surroundings when you first open the game? Well, it's really not a joke. As I was waiting at the light, a lady had fallen behind me on the sidewalk and hit her head. Everyone helped her and we made sure she was all right and she was fine, it was just a little cut. But take this as a lesson to be careful while playing Pokemon Go. It was definitely a wake up call for me to keep one eye ahead at all times. Nonetheless, the ambulance came and the woman was getting the help she needed, so we're back to the grind. I really wanted to finish strong. We were now in the Byward Market and it was snowing hard at this point. My hands were even getting kind of cold because my hand warmer had run out of battery. We pushed through though. Now remember how earlier I talked about the audible weather? Look at this, 20 minutes later and it's now sunny and snowing. Pretty cool. Honestly, it makes no sense to me. For the final stretch of the grind, I went into Ottawa University campus. It was pretty dead since it was a Saturday, so I faced my fear of university students and ventured in. At one point, I even had to stop because there were so many slow pokes. Oh, hey, bad language. <laughs> I continued grinding the campus and even got something I barely get. Back to back Galarians, let's go. 
back-to-back -back shinies. Let's go. Finally, I headed towards no spawn bridge when my camera finally died. Honestly, I don't think I've ever hit that many X and throws. Like the XP is so easy with this method. Like I could literally do this blindfolded. Like look. Did I get excellent? Oh. Okay, well I guess it's not that easy. Now there is one more amazing method to get XP that we're gonna take advantage of before the community day ends. So if you click your face, scroll over, and then click on a friend, at the top left you can click on the hearts. In here there's four levels of friends. Good, great, ultra, best. And it tells you how many more days until you get that friend level. Now when you do hit that friend level, you get insane XP bonuses. Check this out. Bang, 200K. Bang, another 200K. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, that's it. <laughs> You see though, that was almost a million XP in just a couple minutes. So you gotta make sure you combine the two strategies. Now before we cover how much XP we got from this method, let's go through the shinies and 100% IVs. It looks like I was able to get 30 shiny slow pokes with around half of them being Galarian and half being regular. Our best IVs were this, 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 and this. We also did get one 100% IV Galarian slow poke. I wanted the regular one, so maybe I'll get it during the trades. Now that leaves us with our XP count. Ladies and gentlemen, drum roll please. We were able to get a total of 6,710,525 XP in only three hours in Pokemon Go. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty proud of myself, but I believe this strategy you could get even more. Now you might ask me, Dax, why'd you get XP? You're already level 50, like there's literally no point. Well, you never know. Level 60 might come, level 70, level 80, level 90. Maybe level 100. Check out the video on screen if you want to know what level 60 up to 100 would actually look like. Because I'm telling you, you're going to need XP no matter what level you are. Thanks for watching, guys, and follow for more tips.